Hello class, I'm glad you stuck with me. I know I picked a difficult tool to start with and that is the pen tool and also the selections, but I'm hoping that this tutorial is going to make it a little bit easier for you to understand how to trace things with the pen tool and why it is important. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my pen tool over to the left on my toolbar. Then to make sure that something wacky doesn't happen, I'm going to make sure that the paths button is selected and my pen tool is to the far left. Now that's going to make it to where I can put a path on a background without having to select it into a layer. So the first part I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around this particular pumpkin and I'm going to start right about here. Now I want you to pay special note to the fact that you cannot create arcs very well after 90 degrees. So this is about a, uh, a 70 some degree arc. So I'm going to go about right here and then I'm going to click a second time and then I'm going to pull while holding the mouse key I'm going to kind of pull to determine where that arc is going to land. Now I don't like the fact that it has the two handles and I'm not sure why Adobe has chosen to do this so I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option button and then I'm going to click on this center dot, this little square dot that is uh, kind of a black or a white dot depending upon what computer you're using. I'm going to click on it and you notice that one of the arms goes away. Now this makes it just a little bit easier for you to be able to change directions and for you to be able to trace really well using the pen tool. Now the second piece I'm going to use is right here where they intersect, so I'm going to click again and then I'm going to pull and I'm going to make the arc follow the pumpkin. Once again I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key, it's going to turn into a little uh, bracketed looking angle tool next to the pen. <clears throat> I'm going to click on this and once again it's taken one of the arms away. Now I can follow and trace this down here, click and hold it, and once again I'm allowed to go here and change my direction. Which direction it is, hold down the Alt or Option key, click again, and it removes one of the arms. I go down here to the very bottom, click again, and pull and trace, Option or Alt key, click on it, and it deletes one of the handles. Uh, straight lines are pretty easy so I'm going to come over here and select another line straight over here. I'm going to click once again right about to where this intersection is. I'm going to pull make a little bit of an arc there. Alt or Option. Click again. I'm going to come over here and create another curve option, alt, click, follow it around <clears throat> no more than 90 degrees, click again, pull, and trace, alt or option, click, uh, less than 90 degrees again, option, click, alt, Option click. It just makes it easier and I'm creating a little bit of a hump there. Option click and once again I'm going to go here. Make a little bit of a curve <clears throat> and there's my path. I didn't so, do such a good job here but we can always use the mask. That was one of the things that we learned in the previous class. Now that I have my path selected of course I could put text around my path like we did during the class and in my other tutorial. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to create a selection out of this. Now it's a nice selection. I can feather it if I want to, but in this case I don't want to do that. I just want to select it around here. Now if you remember our mask tool, our mask tool was over here and you can see that I made just a little bit of a mistake here and I could go back and use my brush and make sure that it's on black. I can hold down the bracket key until it's a little bit bigger and I can kind of clean that selection up. 
and then I can go back and undo my mask tool and there it is my selection is good we know that the command or the control J takes whatever is inside the marching ants and puts it on a new layer so let me turn this layer off and you can see that I've traced the pumpkin and it's really smooth if you look at the edges it's not like we traced it with some sort of a lasso a freehand lasso or even the magnetic lasso now we've traced this pumpkin so that is the pen tool if you hold down the alt or the option key when clicking and creating your points around an object it will make it much easier for you to be able to follow and trace your objects. I'm going to put together another tutorial and post it up and have a good weekend. Talk to you later.